Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for show eight. We're cruising along. We're getting close to the second pay-per-view, which also means we're getting close to bragging rights, which we'll be talking about throughout tonight. I got Cheek with me for WCW. Hey, yo. And I got Canada with me on the SmackDown side of things. Hey, yo. Just a minute, playa. Sorry, that's me being Teddy Long's a robot. Please don't leave. Keep watching the video. I know that was all. Oh, okay. Speaking of awful, mm. if you missed last Let's episode, this, the nice part about this, though, is I can give a quick reminder that we always have a playlist in the description. And uh, bad timing was used against me. Now, we've already addressed our emails. So basically, bad timing is a new card this year. And it takes one of your limited time contracts and decreases it by a week. Uh, we learned because I immediately got thrown into contract negotiations for Dude Love earlier than expected. Uh, Dude Love was the one that got hit with that contract at the end of the last episode. So we had to negotiate with him, and we pissed him off because I, I had to lowball him again. Just tough scene. So where we're sitting right now for ECW, uh, as we get ourselves geared up for the next pay-per-view here... Is, the, is it Survivor or SummerSlam? I was like, I couldn't even remember what the next pay-per-view was they got us for. Um, my thinking right now is probably when this contract expires, I'm going to let Dude Love walk. Um, it's going to be hard to balance chemistry. I got I got a little excited with with the, the free agent signings after Seth Rollins was taken from me. I was like, ooh, I got all this money, and I didn't really think long-term. Uh, blew my load early, which has been a problem I've consistently struggled with in life. Mm. Uh, but I think Shawn Michaels, permanent fixture. Die Jack, I'm thinking try to get him and Sammy up to level three. They blow off a feud at the pay-per-view, and Die Jack walks. If something happens, he wins the world title. Maybe I keep him, maybe I don't. Um, but I think Dude Love, for his cost and the struggles we've had with morale, I think letting him walk is the move. Um... Let's see what my goal is here. One to hop into a power card. Okay, we get a health spa for least popular bruiser. Okay, who's my least popular bruiser? Uh, okay, it's Dude Love. The <laughs> Dude Love <laughs> It's clearly the linchpin of ECW, and he's upset with me. Okay. Um, ooh, okay, this works out. So what I was going to say, one of the things I need to start getting lucky on is contract negotiations. Um... So my budget up top there, it's super thin right now. These free agents are a big part of the reason why. Uh, but, you know, in this case, $10,000 for two weeks would be cheaper than what it would cost to pay a Shawn Michaels or a Dude Love. So my strategy until I kind of get myself on the better side of this contract situation is if I see a negotiation card, I'm going to grab it. So we're going to grab that. And I think I'm going to use it just right now, not even wait. We're going to put that on Shawn Michaels. I think he, uh, like I said, Big E's been great as well. I think these guys are definitely long-term fixtures. Hopefully, we get lucky, get a homeschooled card as well. But until then, got to be strategic with these contract negotiations. So, Shawn Michaels, plus two weeks, buys me a little time with him. Uh, I, I Jack should make his way over to uh, WCW if he, uh, with a little trade. With the ah, <laughs> little giant. He, little he's, giant, he's wants Marbies. Eh? That's true. He's just trying. He's like, hey man, I'm just trying to earn someone a lot of money at one time. He's just trapped over here on EC Dub. Um, logistics definitely not gonna do anything this week. So can't afford to. I now have twenty eight thousand dollars after buying that contract card, but I need to buy that. Let's check new episode, new recording. I want to check these. So, um, oh, I definitely when I told Ludwig Kaiser. That'd give him a top match. I definitely thought it was the world title. It's the world television title. So that's a lot easier. Because if he wins that, I that's cool. Like, I'm good. And then Duke Hudson wants Elton Prince this week. So I'll go ahead and knock that out. Uh, Duke Hudson was mad with Elton Prince. Metson with his bag. Uh, one of the new email conversations. So we get an instant rivalry off that. Duke Hudson also wants to fight him. So we'll let him fight. Uh, next week I'll get it to the moon card because I didn't get it this week, so that'll be cool. Um, tables. Hopefully I can get Duke Hudson very happy by doing that promise. This I'll get gradually. This I'll get gradually. 400 count power cards. I don't know. 
TLC, I'd, I can intentionally get there. This one I've accepted. L plus ratio plus I fell off. Gym interference, I got to think about too. I might do that in one of these. Okay. Um, Dude love has to be in a match for that health spa, which I want. So let's go. Let's go with dude and Sean. We're getting closer to the pay-per-view, so we've got a lot of level three feuds. We'll try to get some stuff level four, and we're going to give them tables. We're going to get some progress on that tables goal. And then I'm going to go like this. And we're going to go with a fatal four-way with, where's he at? There he is. We're going to go Big E, Logan Paul, Nathan Frazier, and Ludwig Kaiser. We're going to put the TV title on the line. That gets Ludwig Kaiser's promise. I'm going to see if I have a pre-match physio for Logan Paul. If I don't, I'm still going to risk it. We're going to also make that a tables match. Boom. Okay, no. So, Logan Paul, congrats. You get that. Okay. Um, what do I want to go here? I feel like GM interference here would make sense. Um, let's do... Okay, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do Gunther versus Andre Chase. So I want Gunther to get a win. Andre Chase is smiling with teeth for his morale. So even though he's about to be upset with me, his morale should still be in a good spot. And that gets me a gym interference knocked out. Now promo side. We're gonna we did this on the last show. We tried to double pop this, only one of them worked. We're gonna go for the same thing. We're gonna try to double pop those guys. And then we're also gonna try to get Dakota Kai and Bianca Belair. I'm gonna let Dakota, Dakota's a worse promo, but she's a little lower popularity. So I'm gonna let her do the promo. Bianca gets the week off. Hopefully we get double pop and then single pop to four. Single pop to four. That's a promise. This is just me getting GM interference. This is a promise Ludwig Kaiser. If we get rivalry pops, that's awesome too. And then I don't have a health spa. I can't afford this one. And I don't think I need anything else for this week. So I think we are golden. I'll get that free health spa, which would be clutch. I feel pretty good. I hope Big E or Logan Paul keep the TV title, but if Kaiser and Nathan Frazier win it, I'm okay with that. 23,000, we have $5,000 left over. Money management at its finest. Send it in. Oh, it's over to SmackDown. Oh, oh I'm really uh, Care to explain why you showed up out of nowhere to interfere with my match? I thought we were on the same team. Cry about it, literally cry about it. <laughs> Uh, hey Woods, you're probably aware of the fact that Morgan has been spreading free. Whoa, fake Ooh. rumors around me in the locker room. That's insane. I've had enough of the constant disrespect, and I want to teach her a lesson in the ring. And I can promise you, I'm going to bring the heat. So, instant rivalry? Like, hello? It, that should honestly probably kick one off, no? Like, it, I well, think that'll I do exactly what happened with me with that Duke Hudson thing. You'll get level one, and then. So, if you want to go view roster real quick. I think you will get, she should, oh, she had, yep, she's got a level one with Liv Morgan, and then Her. mine also, you want, you still want to book her and them in a match this week, as like, the promise, right, this week, yeah, 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 yeah. that's and crazy though, knew. that she was spreading rumors, oh, same, well, yours is the least popular bruiser, right, yeah. mine's the most popular bruiser, what do we get, double cost, oh, God. Mm hmm Mm -hmm. We're doing that for sure. Uh, do not boast your most popular bruiser, who is oh. Kevin Owens. Okay, that's fine. Does we Gee. will call out Kevin Owens? What? If you were to spread a false rumor about myself in Canada, what would it be? Oh man, Whoa. where do where do you even start? <laughs> where do you start? Let's uh, say we're gonna... that that uh, <clears throat> Canada actually doesn't like molasses. Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, yeah that I went there. That's kind of crazy. That is kind of crazy. I can't have Tyler Brady just cutting promos every single week. Almost. Almost. 
is going to cut a promo. Even though I want to put him in a match, I think I'm trying to preserve him a little bit. Training, I do not remember what tra- or increase the superstars ring XP. Nobody has utilized this yet. So, I will be the first. Yeah, that's what we want to do. A little training action. Uh, 96,000. We're already at 10,000 for the show. It might be a normal kind of smackdown this week. Nothing too crazy. Uh, we'll start with the opener. Oh, man. Um, why don't we go with Kevin Owens has to not be in the show this week. Let's start with Seth. Seth and Ethan Rollins. He's going to go up against... I got a lot of faces on this roster. When I see Hulk Hogan now, they're busy one week. That's going to be crazy. He's coming. He's coming to smack down. Uh, the cough, sir. Even though this kind of hurts. Oh, man. Smackdown's in a little bit of shambles right now. I might have to I might actually have to go back, and we're, we might have to uh, not be the first person to use it, because I might need a role change real quick. This is a very face-heavy. Someone becoming naughty. You know who it's gonna be? Chad Gable's gonna be a little naughty, good, naughty boy. Get him into a feud with a face. How about how about we book the main event, which is going to be Alexa Bliss versus Liv? And because she called her out, we're gonna make it a title match. I think it's only fair. So we're going back to Morgan, the- spread rumors about the champ and get a title match. That's pretty good. Coffee versus Loomis. Let's try to get that to four. Loomis. Pipesters. We're going to have a nice, it, you know, over on WCW, we have the big beefy boys. Well, guess what? This is going to be a big beefy girl matchup. I know Tamina's kind of low on stamina, but I don't think she's wrestled in a few weeks. So get out there, girl. Like, what are we doing? And then, man, oh, I need a triple threat. We're going to start off with a triple threat extreme rules match. Or I got to get this guy's dang title off <laughs> of Veer. This is really screwing me up here. I can't book Kevin Owens. So Seth Rollins is going to be in there again. And you know what? Let's give it to Tyler oh, Bray. He's Let's give it to him. Uh, we are going to put the men's title on the line. There we go. I did not take a look. I know I don't. Uh, I bought the advertising email campaign last week. So I'm not going to spend any assets. We're not going to sign anybody this week. Take a look at the power cards. Injury rehab's pretty dang good. Uh, oh, I might as well use the extra 10 grand. Uh, ooh, 40 brings me down to 56. Uh, we're going to do it. Hell spot, we only got one of those. We do have two fixed matches, so you know what? I kind of want to give it to Seth Rollins. So Tyler Bray, oh, or not Tyler Bray? Yeah, Tyler Bray is not, right, yeah. not winning. So we're fixing that match this week to get the dang title off here. It's really making me mad. So that's our show, I believe. Let me take one last look. We did this. We did that. Uh oh no. Okay, this week. Damn it! I got to throw Piper in that match. I gotta throw Piper in this match. I just have to. Oh, she's called. She, wait, what happened? Where is she? She Piper's already in a match, so you gotta take her out of the one she's in. Oh, oh. imagine okay. trying to double book yeah. her. Uh, well, chaos can you blame foot right now here. Can you blame me? Uh, she looks like she could do two. Wow! Wow! <laughs> what? I'm just saying, she looks like she could do two matches. She's she's got 73 Why? stamina. She has 73 uh, stamina. That's pretty good stamina. Uh, interesting. Yeah. I have no idea why you think I've any I've never other... had that high of stamina because of my asthma. Okay, I'm scared Piper's going to win, but we need to do it. Okay, now this match turns into who's got the most stamina? <laughs> Tricksters. Can you do it? Can... Oh, whoa. Why did I... my voice crack there? Can you do a three? No, you can't do like a mixed tag, right? Like a one on two? No, no. Okay, okay, okay. Um, which I'm surprised you can't do a handicap match. You know what? We're kind of just gonna have to. We're gonna fake a, a handicap match in a way here. Okay. We're gonna do Ivar versus Carmella Hayes versus Trick Williams. That's what we're gonna do. Boom. And this is back down. 
Where? Oh, sorry. I just want to check this. 10 shows with himself promo. 7 out of 10. 7 out of 10. I missed the call-out promo last week. Maybe. Wait. Does the tag pro call-out not count? I think I did a tag call-out. I'm That's weird. not sure, actually. Because I was doing all I was doing all three of these at the same yeah. time. I'm not sure. Maybe so, a tag call-out doesn't count. We're going to have to... I'm not going to try it this week, but one week I'm going to do it and see if it counts. Not this week. Because we got our show... Sometimes we just gotta test things for science. Oh Literally. yeah. <laughs> so scripts says, "Hey boss, I have a proposition for you. How about you and I have ourselves a little partnership? You have my back, and I'll have yours." Funny thing about my back is, never mind. Um, so the fans will love it. I'll love it. What else could you ask for? I just feel like I want to go to like New Orleans and have some gumbo. <laughs> that was that accent. Though. Book me in a match and be in my corner. So basically, Scripps needs me to help him get a win because he can't get it on his own merit because he's yeah, he wants that G -do. interference. Um, man, he's content. He's not happy. He's not sad. He's very content. Straight laced. Yeah. You might smile you know with teeth if you do this for him. <laughs> I, wow. Uh, I got nothing to lose. I'll just book him against some slappy, and that'll keep him happy. Ooh, Triple H. Okay, okay Eminem over here. <laughs> Triple H says, Oh, shit. I got an email about an Addy. Addy Triple H loves you. What the hell? They're currently charging 10 k for a three-week ad campaign. Gain new fans, but since there's always the potential to lose some, sure. 10K, let's do it. All right. So anyone watching this right now, if you subscribe to the channel, you also might get some spam emails coming. Um. All right. Let's see. Spam the food, right? What? Huh? Spam the food? Yeah. I've never tried spam, but I'm I sure. I haven't either, actually. I just, it's one of those things that looks awful to me. Yeah, you're damn right. One of the things that doesn't look awful, though, is what's going on at WCW. Um, so let's see. Oh my! I need to, I need to do some soul searching. Oh, that portal! Shit! Reminder, that's a hundred thousand dollar search. He's like, yeah, I'll make 80k back this week. I'm not worried about it. That that's so true. That's so true. If you've somehow missed last episode. Cheek's current uh, shakeup card that he has until this next pay per view. Every time a giant wins a fatal four way, he gets forty thousand uh, dollars. We discovered that he, like, as long as he has, like, he could do it two or three times a show. So he's been running a all giant four way, and then he's been also running an extra four way with a giant where he uses a fixed match card. So it has been. A nice financial and month. I hope I get this with anything. Like, I hope I get this with, uh, I don't know, like, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. like, my thinking is, why not add to the fun and see if we can get maybe an Andre the Giant? Oh, my God. If the search doesn't return anything, it gives you the money back. So if there's not, like, an Immortal Giant this week, you could, like, you don't just oh, lose that money. But if there is at least one, then, then I, yeah. Okay. But you this, I don't know how much he's gonna cost. But. And this could be female though, right? Too. Yep. Well, yes. Let's yeah. make male. How many female giants are there? All right, let's do it. We're gonna spin the wheel. Oh, shit. Let's dance. Oh <gasps> my god! Oh my no. god! Uh, oh yeah. No. Look or, at these or giants. The or the Rikishi. Rikishi China. Oh my god. And Andre. I only have eighty-six thou, Charlie. Well, that's no, for a five week no, deal. No, no, no. I mean, you'd be able to get a couple of them. So we have week three, we have this week, next week, pay per view, and then my my giant scheme is up. So I got three weeks. So if I can bring these three superstars to WCW for the next three weeks, it is giant palooza. We this is Meat Mountain. This is for the beef belt. This for is the beef belt. <laughs> this is this is everything we've we've wanted. What else? What else? What else? What else? The only other thing I can think that we need is the official sponsorship from Arby's, which Arby's. I'm we have the to, Yeah, I'm reaching out to their marketing team and saying, "Hey, shit's so, going down at WCW." Three week is ninety four thousand. So oh. I can't. I can't do 
three week. What about two? Two takes, the, two takes you to the. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The other thing too, I would check. So you can back out, and this won't go away if you re go back to the talent scouts. Okay. I would say look at your power cards too, if you have any like contract negotiations ah. or anything like that. I don't know if you do or not, but mm, I don't think so. Or does I mean blind? Does somebody get met with a the door? You know, so does someone show? Yeah, the door right. To open the opportunity for a big boy. Well, man. I mean, I. I you're right. So much when you're right, you're right. Oh no. How much money do I get? Do I get? I. The... Okay, so don't submit it. I'm saying it's 128, but back out and pull up like. No, no, right there, right there, right there to the left. Uh, refund 64,000. Oh, yep, you're right. You're right. Okay. Thank you. I was going to say pull up another guy and we'll compare. <laughs> so 64,000. So I'd put you at like 145. So I could probably. You'd and be able I'd to get two just, of them, basically. Because you could I'd do, probably, like, one for three weeks and another for, like, two, maybe. Yeah. I might try to do all three on, like, one-week deals and try to keep swinging. Oh, man. I love that. I love I'm that. trying to finagle. So his popularity has dipped. It is at 59 because he's been hurt. And he's also a seedy little bastard. So Dirty Dominic. I don't know if I want him on WCW. He is undefeated, and he has the belt, but this frees up the belt. It does. This For a meaty true. boy. For a meaty boy. So I think the sacrificial we've, already, we've already rolled the dice on that search. Let's keep playing the feud. <laughs> Good answer. Good answer. Wow. So we just released Holy one shit. of the men's champions. I'm feeling all so sorts we of weird so we can bring in we have to start with andre the giant first got it. let's let's got do two weeks so. fifty thousand in play right now but it's basically the, the dirty dom payback right there. Wait, yeah. but does this does this when i sign him i cannot use him this week correct uh you can use him this week okay yeah. so, so i i made hulk hogan permanent so yeah okay so, so that counts for this week and next week so i need to extend you would have to negotiate him before the pay-per-view or get right. like contract extension cards if you get lucky with the Okay, well, I'm just gonna do two weeks for now. Bang, 82,000 remaining. Jeez, Remember, she, she can't go in the men's. You know yes, I mean? yes, but I can have her in the women's. True. You have a bunch of large women? Uh, I mean, I don't think that would matter. I think she would clean Win. shop. <laughs> um, I don't have a bunch of large women no <laughs> you just um, have to make sure that large woman wins you have a fixed match card in the shop again this week too if you save i don't have any money left um, i'm not saving anything let's see 36 and and then the other minor two is if you do so the two-week contract that you did with andre Yes. You will get to negotiate with him over an email if you have the money. Yes. One week contract, you will not get that negotiation. They will automatically go back to the oh, agency. Wow. Oh, shit. This is a reminder. Okay. Okay. Well, what do we What do we think? Rikishi or China? Do we need the, the giant so, women? It, dep like, it depends how many you want to do because with... If you do Rikishi, I think you have enough giants to literally do two four ways with all giants and guarantee the 80k. Yes. If you do China, it would be like what you've done with Braun Strowman. You would have to have a fixed match card or take your chances. So like Rikishi would be a lock. China, I guess, would be potentially you could do three of them. And, but you'd be playing with a little bit of fate. My bad. Let's do the two week. Keesh. Woo! Now, if we do, we need to get the 62. I don't think I can possibly do that at all. So, unfortunately. Gotta, gotta book a show, too. Yeah, unfortunately, China is the odd man out. Um, but, yeah. So. All right. Here we go. Fatal four way with the Beefsters. Uh, uh, uh. We got 
the newcomers, Rikishi and Andre, and then, oh man. <laughs> John the Fish Herman's gonna get sacrificed to these two. And we're also gonna throw in Braun Strowman on this one. Yeah. Yeah. So this one, Fatal Four Way. This one's gonna be more of the slappies. We got Red Flame, Triton, Red Monsoon, and Olaf Ostrov. I like it's literally guaranteed in No fixed match card. Right. Mm. See, that's where I wish I just had the, the money for China, just to throw her in. And yeah, because then you could... She would probably win that match. Yeah, you would just... You'd, it'd be like buying a lottery ticket. Like, can she win the match to pay for her contract, basically? All right. He's frozen, because then he remembers he has to book other people, too. I... yeah. Strowman <laughs> uh, and Reigns, I'm going to try keep the rivalry going um we do need some women's love but ooh, well, was a commissioner goal so you get it to the moon card for it ooh, have at least one extreme rules yeah right oh boy we are uh, <laughs> that's broke so just for funsies how much yeah we can't Twenty four thousand. <laughs> um okay gosh you know what? Let's get Cody Rhodes a match. He's only 99 stamina. We haven't had him get a lot of love. Unfortunately, he doesn't have a good match book matchup. So, and also, man, you know what? Let's get let's get scripts in here. We're gonna fix that freaking match. Ooh. Hmm. GM interference. Oh, two grand. Oh, boy. And we want him to be four. Yes. Script. Yep. yes. Okay. So there's that. And then we need one last. One last. Blair Davenport, Andy Hartwell. There we go. Okay. That's, that's the match side of things. Oh, man. <laughs> Okay, and then we have... Let's do call out. Shinsuke is going to call out the Gerdster. Yes. And then Miz, since he's hot on the mic, we're just going to have him do advertising. We need money. Fair. <laughs> um, okay, now my curve is tough. I don't think that's going to do well because it's a run-in. This isn't going to do well because they're all slappies. So I think it's a matter of these are at least in a rivalry. Yeah, you've but got, you've got these... better popularity in the opener even with the fish. Here. Right. But with them all being giants as well, I don't know if that'll like... Let's let's risk it. We're gonna learn some things together. So that's my show. It only costs eight thousand, but man, we're getting eighty k back. So, and I don't. Ooh, I can't buy fixed no, that. But you'd have to. Yeah, you, you'd have to change. Oh uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Okay. Yep. Yeah, we're done. We're not gonna <laughs> do anything. Um. And that is it, I think. So yeah, we had a pretty big week. We cut, cut a uh, dirty Dom, that son of a bitch, and we have a belt to award to somebody. So find out next week who it's gonna go to. All right. All right we gotta tick, tick it off, kick it off, because I'm ticked off at Teddy Long. <laughs> and it looks like uh, Raw has a new signing, not quite you know, what WCW is doing right now, but Angel Garza with his first match over there for Raw, taking on Josh Briggs, and Briggs gets the victory in a two and a half star match. Tag team call, Tiffany Stratton, Neo Sky calling out the women's tag champs, Charlotte Flair and Natalia. Natalia is still covered by the Peacock Feathers, so the rivalry doesn't go anywhere. I think Otis is a new signing as well. I don't recall seeing him yet. So it's gonna be Otis, Austin Theory, and Paragon J. Pierce. Otis comes in. Night one gets the win. One and a half stars. Pierce and Theory, their rivalry up to level two. 
promo from Charlotte. Oh, dang. Okay. Plus five pop for Charlotte. Excellent on the self promo. Then Damon Uso taking on L. Hey, Knight. Yeah. Aw. No. Damon Uso gets it done in a two and a half star Ooh, match no. over the U.S. champ. Natalia comes out for. Oh, jeez. Tough Very scenes big. for Natalia there. <coughs> they spent twelve thousand dollars to get seven hundred and fifty fans. One promo goes faulty. Yeah, that'll that'll get you. So it also gets you Nikita Lyons if you aren't looking. I mean, she just has lost to Oscar. I think every time. <laughs> I think their rivalry ended also, and now it started over. I feel like they've been fighting. Maybe that's just never popped a rivalry, and I didn't notice it. But three stars for Asuka, uh, taking down Nikita Lyons for like the 37th time. Over to ECW. 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 We're uh, trying to get a lot of... This is all about rivalry movement. We're hoping to see the level threes get the level four. Um... First couple weeks, I was trying to be careful, but now we're getting close to the pay per view. So, we're getting level four in a good spot. Dude Love, always upset. Dude Love taking on decently happy Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels takes him down. Dude Love's probably going to be pissed about it because he don't like me. But it's a three star match. Rivalry goes level four. Looking for the double call out. Part one works this week. Part one worked last week. Sami Zayn calls out Die Jack and basically says, Hey, I'm trying to build the intensity of a feud here, brother. Please say something worthwhile so that those on the dirt sheets say that we're in an intense feud. We'll have to see if Dijak has anything to say about that later. Duke Hudson found out that Elton Prince was messing with his bag. And he wasn't happy about it. And he said, I demand a match with Elton Prince. And I was like, yeah, sure. So level one rivalry instantly kicks off. And Elton Prince defeats Duke Hudson in a nice, disappointing one and a half star match. And after the match, he takes his little duffel bag runs out to Duke Hudson sorry I just had a stroke trying to complete a sentence comes out the ring with the duffel bag takes Duke Hudson's headband off puts in the bag runs away you gotta wonder if Duke Hudson can compete without his trusty Chase U headband Dakota Kai tries to call Bianca Belair hoping to get that to level 4 it did not work so their rivalry is gonna stay level 3 for the time being up next I'm supposed to do GM interference 10 times and I just have continued to forget about it so we're gonna do it this week uh, Andre Chase is smiling with teeth both in his picture and in his morale so we're gonna have Gunther face him and I'm gonna interfere to help Gunther because I think Andre Chase will be okay with it Gunther. And, and Gunther slaps the shit out of him in a one and a half star match so curves looking all right we didn't expect either of those matches will do anything too crazy and then Dijak comes out to the ring and he says hey I heard everybody was talking trash about my ability to talk trash. Well, how's this for talking trash? And then he takes a trash bin out from under the ring and he sees an old lady in the front row and he just throws all the trash on that old lady. And then Sami Zayn runs out. It's his great aunt Martha. And Sami Zayn cannot believe that Dijak just did that to his great aunt Martha. They start brawling all over the arena. And finally, we have an intense rivalry worthy of the ECW world championship and in the main event tables match <clears throat> big e current television champion ludwig kaisa asked for a television title shot we decided to grant it we're 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 in the business of fulfilling promises if your name's not dude love can big e hang on to the belt or will we have a new champ we have a new champ but it's the old champ logan paul in a four-star match and both rivalries get to level four so I was hoping the title would stay in the Big E Logan Paul rivalry. It did. And we get the double pop of the rivalry. So we'll, uh, tough mid card, but overall, I would view that as a successful show for Extreme Championship Wrestling. <laughs> and over on SmackDown, the opener title match, Extreme Rules. It's not ECW, but it is um, SmackDown. We have, I wonder who's going to win this match. I, I really have no idea. Oh, oh my! Yeah. Oh wow! New champion, amazing match to kick off SmackDown. New title holder, we like that. The bisexual Undertaker calls out Kevin Owens, but it does absolutely nothing. They might actually have a level four call out. I just needed to do, to do a call out, and I couldn't uh, make Kevin Owens participate this week. So that's fine. Uh, the Coffinator versus Lovez. Oh, all right, I here we go. No, no. I literally no, no. Wow. no. 
No. We got it. We got to make him his subscriber no. goals to that. We can't just be giving this shit away for free. I literally, I literally. Oh no. my oh. god! What Surprise, a disaster folks. here. We are watching a match. Out of all the matches this week that I clicked, like, you couldn't have been I'm the not, no. Have been. You pause this game. You pause it. Right, well, hold on. We got to do interesting first. Skip this scene. Skip, Skip this scene. scene. Oh, yeah. Skip <laughs> this scene. Skip this scene. Get out of here. <laughs> wow. What a what match. Down. What is going on? Hey, what do you mean? It's an extra Whoa, match this we week. We got the ramp camera now, though. Oh, oh, all right, here we go. Who's it going to be? Who's Make sure be? to... To subscribe to the channel, though, the next episode is our pay-per-view where we will be spectating matches. We will. And maybe you're going to see Lib ass. Maybe, maybe, maybe we'll actually get to see this matchup. Let's find oh out. My God, Omos. <laughs> oh, my God. He's, um, we're trying to push him, and he comes down and just says, yeah, I don't I don't really care. I really don't care. Okay, that's fine. And is our <laughs> makeshift 2v1. It is a triple match, but at home, just pretend it's a 2v1. We're not going to view it. And I would does grow the rivalry. We do that's that's things we like to see. Things we like to see. Even though uh, it doesn't really help with the pay per view because I'm probably gonna put Veer and Ivar in a title match. But you know, that's a spoiler. Chad Gable, he's now a bad guy. He said, "I'm I'm had enough. Maybe if I maybe if I put on a mean face, he'll put me in a couple matches. I have 100% stamina. Get me in a match. Even though we had to spend 10 grand to get him to uh, the bad side. That's fine. And in our main event." It is a triple threat match for the women's title belt. Uh, Alexa Bliss called out Liv Morgan, but also Liv Morgan wanted to fight Piper Nevin. So the only thing was to put him in a triple threat and might as well throw the title on the line. Maybe should have swapped it with the opener, but you know what? We just kind of do things off the cuff here. We can't, we gave the ladies, ladies, time ladies. to shine. Ladies. You win. <coughs> hey. Liv gets her title back in a good match. I should have definitely swapped them. Especially with the opener being Extreme Rules. Uh, that's fine. Let down. Okay. Over to WCW. Big boys play. This is Meat <laughs> Mountain. This is for the beef belt. This is the girthy Goliaths. Let's see. Newcomers Andre Giant Rikishi. Let's play the feud. Oh, oh Braun Strowman. Strowman. A rivalry, Ooh, double rival and Stro a double rival pot. So this is good going forward. That's for interesting too. Weeks. So we haven't had it happen in our save yet, but so basically Roman was in a level one feud with Braun. But what apparently can happen this year is if your level one feud, if like you don't pursue it, that feud can get replaced. So basically Braun has replaced Which Roman with John the Fish. Which sucks because I just scheduled this call out <laughs> immediately after to help promote said rivalry that does not exist anymore. So, swing and a miss for WCW, but Meat Mountain, we're still climbing it. Because here we go, part two, Red Flame, Triton, the Red Monsoon, and Olaf. Let's see who takes it. And in the in the match of the beef, Red Monsoon takes the cake Ooh, the biz says good. hey let's get some money and then in the mid card scripts wanted this give me win because he can't win it on his own this is going to upset cuddy Rhodes, i'm sure so let's see yeah there we go oh okay hey oh. hell yeah as you can see dogs barking fans booing <laughs> everything just going to chaos here even Shinsuke Nakamura trying to call out the Girdster to get that robbery to pop to level two, and it does not. So, let's see. Speaking of rivalries, progressing further, Blair Davenport, Indy Hartwell. Two, three. Indy Hartwell takes this one. So the robbery is going to grow, but there was an obscene amount of booing during this first week. Right. of this episode so let's just see how it plays all right give it that rundown here of all of our chaos this week Shawn michaels three stars over dude love rivalry gets up to level four elton prince takes down duke hudson one and a half rivalry does not move there uh gm interference helps gunther defeat andre chase one and a half and then logan paul your new television champion winning the fatal four-way logan paul big e level four now love the kaisa and made Frazier level four. 
We double pop on Sami Zayn and Dijak up level three. Uh, Dakota Kai fails to get the level four with Bianca Belair over on SmackDown. Uh, triple threat action, Extreme Rules, Seth Rollins, your new Intercontinental Champion in a four-star match. Uh, we watched half a second of this match as Dexter <laughs> Loomis <laughs> takes down Joe <laughs> Coffey in a three-star match rivalry up to level four. Uh, two and a half stars for the handicap match. We're sticking with the lore here, folks. Carmelo Hayes and Trick Williams taking down Ivar. Also, Carmelo Hayes' singles feud uh, moves up to level three with that victory. Liv Morgan just built the right feud with the right people at the right time. Liv Morgan, your new women's champion. Her and Alexa Bliss starting a new rivalry and getting to hop to level two thanks to that email and then the match right afterwards. And on the call-out side, as Kanda mentioned, Ri or the rivalry was already at level four, but he does have the call out challenge. So just the way the card played out, put that there to get progress on the GM goal. On uh, WCW, one and a half stars in the opener. Andre the Giant Rikishi have a rivalry. John the Fish Herman has hooked Braun Strowman into a rivalry. <laughs> and one and a half stars, which unfortunately, you know, Braun Strowman would rather fight a Fish Herman than uh, the world champ. Interesting decision by Braun. We'll see how it pays off. Uh, one star in the second Meat Mountain match. As Triton and Monsoon enter in a rivalry, and Triton and Monsoon are in a rivalry. Okay, the game just played the same thing twice. Thought I was losing my mind for a second there. One star as Red Monsoon gets the win. Scripps enters a rivalry with Cody Rhodes. Three stars here despite the GM interference. So that could be a rivalry that uh, ends up doing pretty well for both of them. Honestly. Doing that's, numbers. Yeah, that's pretty. GM interference getting three stars still is impressive, but they didn't have any like pass. And then. Blair Davenport falls to Indy Hartwell. Two stars, their rivalry up to level three. And then Shinsuke's call out to McGirty, the Gertster. The Gertster. Unfortunately, didn't go anywhere. And then on <laughs> AI Raw, Josh Briggs takes down new signing Angel Garza. Two and a half stars. One and a half stars. Uh, new signing Otis wins a triple threat with Austin Theory and Jay Pierce. That rivalry goes level two. Damon Uso defeats LA Knight. Yeah. Two and a half stars. And then three stars, Asuka, for the 73rd straight week has defeated Nikita Lions. They ended the rivalry and now have a new rivalry. Uh, tag call out. I can't remember if this worked or if they were already at level two. I don't think it worked. So, whichever uh, level two rivalry for the tag feud. So, to wrap them up, Raw this week 39,000 fans to Raw, $59,000. For ECW, 41,000 fans. And fifty-three thousand dollars for SmackDown. Forty-seven thousand fans. Big week for SmackDown. Fifty-two thousand dollars. Like it. And for Come WCW, twenty-seven thousand fans. And one. <laughs> That's just crazy. Like you just paid for all the ever all that spending you did last week. You. You're, it's paid for again. Hey, like you gotta spend money to make money. Yeah, really the financial is crazy at Dub Dub right now. That's wild. As a, as a good friend once said, "Scared money don't make money." <laughs> Health Spa over to ECW for the Commissioner goal. Uh, to the Moon card, I had mentioned we had fulfilled promises, so I would get this card this week. So that now hits. And oh Happy gosh. Campers. Uh, wow. So I think doing the Duke Hudson promise probably made him very happy. I need to make Warren Prince very happy. So I get back Alley Crew for SmackDown double cost coming oh, their way for the commissioner goal. Pre-match physio for the triple threat matches. And these are the standings as we head into week nine. Teddy Long up by me by 19,000. Uh, then I have 42,000 on SmackDown and SmackDown has 19,000 on WCW. Long season. Long it season. is. It is. We've got tons Ooh. of time left for chaos, and we are in Montreal, Canada. We're going to kick it off with ECW here. Duke Hudson the says, Duke. thanks for the rematch against Elton Prince. It's always better to sell those things in the ring. Oh, I was yeah. like, are one of these, like, mean? I think the extra motion really helps sell the match. I agree. Great match, by the way. I, I don't know if it matters which one of those I say. I'm going to tell them great match, even though it sucks. Oh no. Oh no. Look how mad his little face is up there. Oh, oh god, boy. dude. He got pissed that he lost. Air the contract. Air the contract up. He's going to ask Air. for 100K, and I literally don't have it. I assume. Yeah. Oh, oh I just lost. Tear it up. Tear it Let's up. Tear it Dang up. it. All out of love from dude. Sorry, dude. 
not going to happen. I Even if I had the money, I probably wouldn't pay it here. I was hoping I could get that feud to blow off the pay-per-view. I guess hindsight, I should have just tried to go steel cage match. So I'm going to tell him no. He leaves. I do get money back. So I guess that's a positive. But I just lost a level four feud. So that's... Uh, Damn. Kicking that's, the pills. That's tough. We'll probably... We'll have to look and see what we want to transition Shawn Michaels to here. Uh, Ludwig Kaiser. Uh, thankfully, as a boss, it keeps his word. He should have said something about that to do love, so he wouldn't have quit. He didn't take hold of the gold, but he appreciates the opportunity. He certainly had worse bosses. All right, so Triple H wants an Extreme Rules match this week, which we now can't afford. Um, damn. Okay, that... I was baking on letting him go after the, after the pay-per-view, but I thought he'd get to blow off that feud. So I think... My pivot is either try to get Sean. I don't know they're both heels. I was gonna say try to get Sean to a feud with Gunther, but I think we just sort of have Sean be kind. Of, really, the same thing with Gunther. Kind of have those guys be wild cards these next couple weeks. We're about to clear a lot of feuds, um, so maybe just kind of insert them into other title feuds going on, um, and go from there. Um, logistics. I have not been able to do logistics for a bit, so I'm tempted. <clears throat> and I oh. think so I know at the pay-per-view uh, it's one asset and 50k to get the bonus um, so rather than spend like 100k or try to wait and do an arena I'm going to grab one of these lighter ones and I can't remember which one it is so we're going to grab fog effects to get the steel cage matches um, that's the new feud blow off of this year if you're uh, newer or haven't played GM mode yet this year, just haven't noticed. Um, last year, submission matches could end feuds outside of pay-per-views. This year, that is steel cage matches. That way, you can end like tag feuds as well. So, I'm going to grab that. We also, by doing this, will get 500 extra fans each week. Um, and the show quality goes up another 3% from plus 5 to plus 8. And then the next time we do an effects, it would be pyro effects, which unlocks L in a cell matches. Okay, uh, extreme rules match for scout and select opposing brand double the cash cost of their talent scout. Um, I don't really love that card. I think Cheek, you had this earlier, and you kind of said the same thing I'm about to say. It's if you know someone's like desperate to sign somebody, you could do it. But I feel like most time, like if I were to use this against one of you guys, you'd just be like, "All right, well, I'm not gonna sign anybody this week." Yeah, like, exactly. So. I don't think I'm gonna go for that. Um, hello? Did I not? Maybe I was at five. I feel like this didn't go up. I feel like I booked two tables matches last week. Maybe it was at five and it went to seven. I don't know. I'm losing my. Dude, love is in my head, brother. Okay, so I'm gonna do just one tables match this week. I know it's at seven. I'll see if it counts. I might do a TLC if I've got the stamina. Um, okay, so let's get moving along here. Um, I think I'm gonna go. No, nope. go on to this other way. We're gonna have Bianca call out bait or baby. Bianca called Dakota this week. Hopefully that's level four. If not, they're level three going to the pay per view. Then we are gonna go with. Logan Paul needs a week off, so he's going to get a week off. I think I'm going to have... <clears throat> We're going to go with... I might put this somewhere else's card. So I'm going to have Sammy fight Gunther. And we're going to have... Dijak is going to run in. Okay, it does still mark that as cooldown, so we'll put that in the middle. Like that. Um, I'm trying to think how I want to potentially utilize Shawn Michaels and everything. I want to see what this is about to look like. If I went triple threat with these three do i get the same i get the cooldown on them too okay so i think i'm gonna go 
Dakota versus Nikki. GM interference for Dakota since she's in the main feud right now. Sorry, Nikki. So that's the stuff in the middle. Tag feuds level four. I'm afraid to make it stale. Love it, Kaiser, Nathan Frazier, level four, afraid to make a sale. Biggie, Logan Paul. Logan Paul needs to breathe. Um, so let's just go Shawn Michaels versus Nathan Frazier. We're going to go tables. If Shawn gets hurt, he's not a rivalry, but hopefully he doesn't get hurt. And then... This... This year. Hmm. I think I'm gonna actually make this normal. I'm gonna make this tables. Or I could go TLC. I'm gonna go TLC. Then tables. That should allow this to do above these two. This is on cooldown with an interference. This is no feud with a GM interference. So I could go advertising, I could go charity, I could go training. I'm kind of looking. I've only really done, I think we've given training to Dakota a couple times, but I haven't. Like you were saying, Canada, it's not one we've really been utilizing. So I'm, I'm looking at like Kit, Ludwig, Andre, I mean they're all close to a level up here. So let's just, let's just let Kit Wilson potentially get an upgrade. Excuse me. And I'm going Kaiser. Potentially get an upgrade. Then they really want me to get scouting points. I'm going to stay away from that. I am going to grab this for 25k. Andre Chase will get a plus five. I like that going into the pay-per-view because he will be in a match. Then our to the moon card after the next match it goes up. So we're gonna give this to Nathan Frazier because he's fighting this week and his morale's a little poopy. So that'll give him a boost. Hopefully make him happy. Hopefully I don't regret doing that. Um, and then we're gonna health spa Logan Paul so that we can go out of pay per view and hopefully he'll be okay. I want to use this yet so I can't use this one I didn't notice this when we first started it makes sense can't use this one in week 24 because I kept thinking I'm like that card's way too OP you can just use it before mania and screw everybody so I feel like pay-per-view 4 I should probably use it it's whether I want to use it now or pay-per-view 3 um, I think I'm gonna wait until pay-per-view 3 I think I'm gonna double that up on 3 and 4 and then good everywhere else. All right, we're gonna send it in. R.I.P. Dude, love gone, but not forgotten. Not, yeah, but never, never. Who? Oh, here. Who? Oh. Okay, who are we gonna start with? Let's start with Alexa. Uh, thanks for matching this live. Had a lot of fun going up against her in the ring, even though I lost my title belt. Um. I think the extra motion really helps sell the match. I agree, a great match. It's kind of the same answer. A great, great match. There, there you go. Uh, oh. Oh. Uh, Maybe he's saying Chad scratched his back. Oh, his car. Oh, I scratched my car this morning. I'm pretty sure it's literally <laughs> had enough. Uh, let's, let's, oh man, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's just do it. Hell yeah, we're doing it, brother. Oh no! Okay, let's go with the hoaxers. So now let me tell you Cruise. something, brother. I've been talking a lot, man, with Apollo Cruz. And if there's one thing you want to know about Hulk Hogan, brother, is I love the non-white man too. Don't worry about what those tapes said, man. So I think you should team me up with Apollo Cruz, man. Take a chance on us, dude, and see what we can I, do, Jack. I guess Hulk Hogan is trying to do some PR. Uh, so yeah. let let let's see if it works out. We don't want to make our newest superstar upset and tear up that contract. So yeah. 
I wonder what would happen if Hulk Hogan teared up his contract because I, you know, I made him a permanent fixture. Would I get like his original draft cost? Holy I want to go check shit. his contract after. Anyways, we uh, can figure that out if you, after this, if you look at his man's roster, you probably get told right. how much you would get. That's true. Uh, almost says, hey, boss, my contract is SmackDown ends at the end of the week. Uh, five weeks I'm asking for, and he's happy. Well, let's talk figures. Uh, how about 53K? I know he's going to take it. Uh, let's do it. Let's ask. Should have said no to that. You know what I mean? But that's fine. Um, we are going to start. Ah, man, this changes up my whole week because Hulkster wanted to. Um, I, I need you just for me, though. I got to see the manager roster because now I got to know what you would do yeah, yeah, yeah. if Hulk Hogan got released. Eight or six. Okay, Ooh, so they no, don't. They, only, yeah. they thought about it. They thought about they it. Thought about it. Okay. Okay. Touché, so touché. Uh, Hulk Hogan will be a permanent fixture on. I, I have to make sure the Hulkster is very, very happy. Uh, we we cannot lose him for 16 <laughs> That's grand. That's how he gets you. That's, That's how I he get did you. all those years. He's politics he came already. In he came in cheap. Okay. So, because he is our legend, let's book the main event as Hulkster. Uh, Paula Cruz, two faces versus guess who? The tag team champions, even though Veer and Ivar are. Ri oh, hello? No, that's how we get into Paula Cruz. Beer, it's it's Shit, I forgot about this. Wait, what? Oh, yes, because it the. Just, it's yeah, the, since it was a rivalry, yeah. just like auto filled it. Uh, no, I actually can't do this oh, because man. that that's for the that's for the. Damn. Okay, let's start the tag team out. Let's if they like each other, then we're good. If they don't like each other, then we pivot. Do they <laughs> like each other? <laughs> oh man, and Joe Coffee, and guess who's running in? Oh, that's already a level four. We don't need to run it. Okay. Ooh. Oh man, this is the main event. It can't be. Like we can't do that. That the other side is just <laughs> bad. <laughs> it's just bad. Uh, Damian Priest versus Kevin Owens. Might as well get these two in a match. Actually, I think I'll put Damian Priest against somebody else. You know, we're gonna do champion versus champion. No title match, but the run in is gonna go Kevin Owens to the bisexual Undertaker. Although huh. again, this is a level four feud. I don't need to do that. I gotta, I gotta think about my money situation here. Triple threat. It's gonna be Level Bass. <laughs> Actually, almost he needs a match. God, I wish Luna was DLC, because now I just want them <laughs> together. Ta-da! Tyler Bright. And oh man. Ooh. Oh. I don't know who to put in. How am I putting Kevin Owens? Just for little fun skis. Kevlar. I'm just trying to like make sure feuds don't get stale this week. I know. Uh, it's, yeah, it gets. It's tricky. So we're kind of just me. changing it around. I think we'll do. Alexa Bliss is going to cut a self promo. We need a call out. That is going to be. What is our best? Oh, I might do a tag call out this week just to see. You know what, I'm gonna do it. Just see if that that call out goes up. Because that is oh, another true. thing we want to do. And you could potentially yeah. get that to level four as well. Let's do that. Yeah, hopefully that gets to level four. And just to check, we do only have. Oh, we already finished this. What the hell? Right, yeah. Okay. So that's gonna change. Uh, call out promo. We have seven out of ten. So we're gonna see if that goes up to eight out of ten. Um, just advert oh, advertising promo. Sure, we're in the contract. Five stars. We're almost there too. Ten. Oh my gosh, I'm forgetting about the GM interference too. Well, we've been pushing. Oops, sorry. We've been pushing our boy, so we might as well keep pushing. <laughs> what was the other thing I need to do? Was it advertising? It was advertising. Advertising. Good. We need some money, anyways. Valhalla somehow decent on the mic, even though she just would scream into it. Uh, we're going to give Piper the uh, mic this time. And we're going to change this. We're going to take Kevin Owens out because we're done with the triple threat fever. Almost versus uh, in a yeah, Tyler Brayton Extreme Rules. This is not going to be our home opener. Oh, God, we can't. Damn it. Okay. We're going to go one-on-one -on -one with the interference. 
This is our extreme rules match. There we go. Blah, blah. Blah, blah. Oh, I'm gonna have to beat Timmy. Yeah. Timmy, there we go. The two big women are gonna just have an extreme rules match. That's just how it has to be. I think it's crazy that at WrestleMania, Actually, everyone was interfering in the Roman Reigns Cody Rhodes match, and they didn't have Tamina come out to defend the Samoan Dynasty. I was offended. Right? By that. <laughs> okay, we're there. We go. Two giant women. Two giant and, women. Uh, and because Valhalla apparently has the same as Piper, might as well have her do the advertising. Uh, take a look, quick look at the show logistics 300K for the arena, 50K Ooh. for the backstage crew, 50K for the fog effects. We only have three assets. I'm not going to spend anything. Power cards get school. That's pretty decent, but we're not going to get it. Health Spa 1, not going to do it. Beginner's Luck, raise the popul oh, popularity of the superstar with the lowest popularity on your roster by five. Not worth 25K, in my opponent, uh, opinion, because we have two to the moon. So, what the fuck? Um, is, next week is the is a pay-per-view? Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Oh, I'm not gonna do that. Oh, oh. strategery is a foot. Really is. Um. Okay. I'm. I'm actually just gonna call it this week. I'm not gonna do anything because good talent's gonna be coming to Cody's doorstep. Oh, you know what? Oh, 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 oh. I am gonna. I'm gonna be taking long. Oh, Teddy. Just a minute, a player. Just a minute, player. Holla, holla, holla. Yeah, you know what? Because Teddy Long, uh, as somebody pointed out in the last episode, uh, Teddy Long has been running away with it. So we kind of need to focus our sights to Teddy. Uh, although good talent, I'm it, Cody. This might have your name on it. I'm not sure, but I think that's E Star SmackDown. This week. 31k. Or we only have a 56k budget. Hopefully, we make a lot of money. No. Oh my gosh. Oh. I just didn't want to start with that. Oh man. Oh. Holy crap. That could have that that saved you. Tyler Braid is he's not the most popular. So, bing, bang, boom. That's our show with a last minute change. Oh, oh my no. gosh. Oh, no. it's all the Giants. <laughs> oh. Okay. Well, let's week's results came back. Hey, 5K fans. Hey, hey. Let's keep it running and see what happens. All right. All so, right. this I would definitely prioritize. Yeah, I we got to start with Andre. I'm interested in another five weeks. OK, so we just need him for two more weeks total this week and next week. Yeah. So but I, I want to I think you can only negotiate like five. Like you can get low bomb, but like you can't do like two weeks from here. Gosh, OK, well, let's talk figures. Okay, and this is all up front, like would 88 come out, or does it get yeah, sprinkled? Yeah, it, okay. would, it would drop immediately. Ooh, all right, let's sign big boy. We got to have him. Got to have him. All right, oh, so he's locked in for the pay-per-view. remains. He's, he's coming to the Summer Slam. <laughs> all right, now, uh, this is just Triple H bitching about my, my curve. And I realized that Triton is just bitching about losing, and Scripps is just happy you helped him. So, at first, I thought oh. those were all negotiations. <laughs> he wants a win. Yeah, get out of here. Appreciate you carrying on the promises. No, so he's happy. But now, Rikishi. It's five weeks, 126. I cannot do it. So let's talk figures and see where we're at. 88k to keep him a part of Meat Mountain. A part of the girthy Goliaths. Truth. Let's do it. We got oh. Uh -huh, uh huh. Oh yeah. Maybe he'll maybe he'll cut you a deal for saying don't have the money for it. Yeah, I I don't have the money for it, dude. Oh. <laughs> so he will officially not be at the Summer Slam, which he is putting Un the well, napkin on his plate. One thing I don't know is if down. you get a power card, I don't know if you can use it or not. I don't know how that works. Man. <clears throat> All right. So, rest your solo champions this week. I can probably do that. Um, All right. So, we only have 106 thou. 
Let's check the, uh, the cards here. So nothing. Yeah, let's see if we have anything to use on anybody here. Um, I don't have any injuries, which is good. Um, I don't really have any uh, issues as far as resting people. Um, opposing brand who must use a tier one arena. I don't want to use that yet. Um, this card is not anything for me. Um, I don't think I have anything that we can do, so. Ooh. Extend the duration of all contracts currently on your roster by three weeks. Wow. So, damn. Wait, I, would that I work? Should, I should have used that last week. I didn't week, think but... about it. I think, it, yeah, I feel like a managed roster. Yeah, uh, I, yeah I, I could keep... I think it would. I could keep yeah, everybody. Every, so. Yeah, everybody that's not on a full contract would get extended. All right. Well, let me go to the talent scout, see if we can add any right. other big B boys. boys. And he try might have, to. He might have three giant fatal foes at the pay per view, folks. Imagine. Which one will we watch? Which which two, rather? Maybe. Oh, yeah. Maybe yeah, we do, we do get two. You Chica so matches. True. Yeah, you guys. You uh, six hundred subs. Yeah, I put, I put the. Yeah, I thought I was like, oh, six hundred will be tough, um, to get before the pay per view, and you guys got it before we recorded this freaking episode. So, you know what? I could only do legends, right? What? Oh uh, no, what you could you do well. You could do like you could do like level tens. What's that? This? No, no like don't. I'm saying, like you don't you don't have to sign legends for the giants if you wanted to go different levels, like get more of them. Yeah, I kind of wanted to see who would be in here, and st still have hopefully some money to oh, sign. God, but I don't know. Are what? you gonna sign somebody and then use that contract thing? That... Yes, that's my oh, goal to steal my... steal oh. extra weeks. But I don't know if I do this fifty thousand search, how much the base contract is gonna be. Right. Yeah, because am I still gonna have to be able to sign them for that, fifty thousand? That's 000, why maybe huh? the either the tens or the fifteen. Yeah, like that's the, yeah, because let's roll this. Yeah. And we're gonna do giant. I. Kane. Oh. Kane. Mm. Just one week, and then we're gonna extend. Hold on. Oh yeah, the extension. Sorry, I was about to be like, wait, no, you can't negotiate. And then just completely forgot about the thing we talked about. Oh, Wait, oh, oh Jesus. Oh, 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 Was oh. Kane not on there, though? He was. No, oh, yeah. Okay, okay. All right. He was. He was. There you go. Heck yeah, so I think boy. you have nine giants now. <laughs> Hell yeah. So, I mean, Hello. literally, the paper, you could do like two guarantees and one, like, Coin flip, basically. Yep, there's nine, nine giants. So, pretty cool. Pretty cool. I'm just saying you could probably you could add a cheap one too for a couple of weeks. E B. Oh man. Get some like level like five or less guys. You'd have you'd want to sign them two weeks, but you know. right here. Or this, either one. So that the, I mean the, the established stars would be a little better like quality for you, but it would cost you four thousand more. But at that point, oh, Raquel, if we want to, if we want to add a female giant, what if she would win that match? Then I just That's give him that yeah, extra. Would, so that would be like with, if you did Raquel, it'd just be like playing lottery with her contract. Mm. If she wins, it basically paid for it. If she doesn't. Though. I don't know. I gotta hold back. I gotta see. <laughs> it was worth it, but yeah. We gotta show to book, folks. Alright. So, first things first, let's get the meat mountain out of the way. The girthy Goliath. Where's my boy Fisher? We at least. We can mix up the Fatal Four Way this week. And we'll have, you know, we'll throw Kane in with these boys. And we'll give Red Monsoon a mix to get him out of there. And then now we got 
Andre's gonna get thrown in with Triton. Right. Red Flame. This is another thing, folks. We are going to watch multiple Meat Mountains, multiple Girthy Goliaths for the Beef Belt. So whatever matchup concoction four way you want to see between my giants, please let us know in the comments. Please engage. Let us know what you want to see. All right. Now I'm gonna go for a for a home run. Oh, never mind. Actually, do I have Rikishi? Uh huh. That's it. That's my last giant. Might as well, might as well roll the uh, dice roll the on the dice. See if you get the extra forty k. And the good This is bananas. Um. <laughs> How are the rings holding up at uh, WCW? <laughs> they're just reinforced. Yeah. Oh, they're they're enforced. All right. And then we have to get we have to get Roman Reigns in a feud, but he just doesn't have a wrestling style to go against. And he took the freaking uh, rivalry from Braun. That would have been decent for me. I don't really have, don't have any to... faces available. Right. So you'd have to. You'd have to do heel heel or wait until other people clear. Basically. That's tough. I could have him call out the the Miz. Or... But yeah, it's it's tough. I'm you just could gonna. Do... Is Miz in a match? You could like have have a call out then have one of them turn that way it's face heel if you're Miz is in a match you know what I'm just going to have him self promo or do advertising let's just keep money coming in we're just going to do that even Ripley is not in a feud which is bananas we've been so focused on Meat Mountain I forgot <laughs> who I was <clears throat> um, or you found exactly who you were. <laughs> Man, this is this is tough because Scripps is also in a rivalry with uh, Cody Rhodes, right? So yeah, so just be. I would say I would say probably do the tag with pay per view since that's the four star. So right. Okay. Stale. Okay. And then All right. Cody and Scripps after. Man, and this is definitely the main event. Um. Man. It's all the giant chested renders. <laughs> this is a lot of beef. Um, I think this one right here. Oh, it can't be a title match. Oh, oh yeah, because Roman Reigns is one of them. The other one's here. Okay, I forgot. I had one vacant. Um, all right. I think that's the show. I'm not going to do anything logistics-wise. There's no power-up cards to buy. We're not going to use any of these cards. So I think that's, that's all I can do. Rest your primary solo champions this week. You'd have uh, to so take I... the promos out for Roman and Rhea. Well. Let's do that. Let's have any heart. Well. Let's do a call out here. And then have Zoe Stark just do advertising. And just, I would just say double check. I think that has you good. For the... Yep. Yep. And I get a little pre-match physio. All right. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. We kick it off on ECW. <laughs> Duke Hudson and Melton Prince had such a bad match last week that I said, you know what? We're running it back. But this time there's tables, there's ladders, there's chairs, and there's hopefully a better match rating. But Elton Prince ends up getting the win because held above the ring wasn't a briefcase in this match. It was Duke Hudson's headband. So going into the pay-per-view, pretty deadly. Going to finish their feud with Chase U, maybe. Pinning power cards. 
when Duke Hudson's going to either have to find his headband, steal it back, or get a new one. We'll see if Elton Prince can hang on to it. Bianca Belair calls out Dakota Kai, and thankfully, call out works last week. Dakota called out Bianca. We did not get level four. This time we do get to level four, so they will finish off their feud at SummerSlam. Sami Zayn comes out to the ring. He's fighting Gunther. And all of a sudden, Dijak runs out to the ring. He has a picture of Sami Zayn's great Aunt Martha. And he rips it in half right in front of Sami, which distracts him long enough for Gunther to grab him, power bomb him to the mat, and get the win in a three-star match. A little training for Kit Wilson. Just a little montage of him getting ready for the big tag team match at the pay-per-view. It just shows him practicing his tags and practicing getting in and out of the ring. And he gets nine ring XP for that. Dakota Kai, well, you know, she she brought me some brownies. She made some brownies for me. And I said, you know what? I'm going to come out to ringside, Dakota. I'm going to defend you and your honor, help you get the win ahead of the pay-per-view in a two-star match against Nikki. And then Ludwig Kaiser goes to speech therapy and only gets two ring XP because for some reason, even though we can understand him, he sounds really fancy. The speech pathologist could not understand him, so they limited how much XP he got. Then the main event tables match here. Um, Shawn Michaels lost his feuding buddy. Not sure. Maybe put him in the TV title match. Maybe, maybe put him in the world title match. Maybe, maybe just have him vibe and hang out. We don't know. But this week he's facing Nathan Frazier in a tables match. Nathan Frazier going to go to the moon. And Shawn Michaels just keeps winning. Oh, and we don't have no. to worry about him at the pay-per-view because he got injured. Which, I when I did the tables match, I said, oh, he's at, I think he was at like 39 or 38, something like that. So there was a risk, but now I guess we don't got to worry about where to insert Sean at the pay-per-view. He'll rest up and take on somebody after the fact. You know, on Smack Diddly Down, we have the Hulksters wanted to team up with Apollo Crews, but guess what? That's not a good team. That's a horrible team. They did not go, but the rivalry pops. I don't know how to feel about that, actually. But <laughs> uh, but Hulk, the Hulksters makes his debut over on SmackDown. Alexa Bliss self promo gets five popularity, even though she just lost her belt. That's basically like getting half her popularity back because you get 10, uh, 10 bonus for the belt. So pretty cool. Uh, Obos versus Tyler Bray. Hopefully getting almost a win here. Uh, GM interference, our, our GM, us, Xavier Woods. We, we are pushing our boy, so we're, we're backing him. Uh, Tyler Bray's not going to be happy, but who cares about Tyler, really? There we go. Finally gets a win under his belt. Two and a half stars, not bad for the curve. I'm not mad at that. Tag team call it. We're going to see if this, uh, it does pop to four. Perfect for the pay-per-view. Um, but we're going to see if this counts uh, for the progression on the GM. Uh, goal. I don't think it does. I don't, I'm not sure. I think they might have missed that one. Uh, Mid-card Extreme Rules match. Tamina versus Piper. Two giant ladies going at it. I know it's not uh, Giant versus Cruiser, but we like beefy. We're really beefy, although that does pop a... A rivalry might have to make it kind of like a triple feud kind of thing going forward. We'll figure that one out. Uh, Valhalla comes in, loses eight popularity, but gets us $8,200. And in the main event, we have uh, champion versus champion. Nothing on the line. Just a nice little main event to see what champion is the most champion. I like how champion. they're both kind of holding their hands the same way. That's true. Yeah, they are. Bisexual Undertaker takes it. Damian Priest is at least a good match. <laughs> Hopefully the best match of the night. Oh, shit. That's funny. All right. <laughs> For WCW, Meat Mountain continues. We continue our climb. Braun Strowman, John the Fish, they're feuding. Kane, newcomer, and Red Monsoon getting thrown into the mix. We will see who comes out on top. Braun Strowman has dominated these matches. The rivalry grows with the Fish Herman. Everyone boos. Andy Hartwell, their rivalry grows right before the pay-per-view. And then, also right before we get to SummerSlam, which Andre the Giant, Triton, Red Flame, Olaf, which one of these girthy giants gets the dub? Andre. But, oh no! Triton. I'll have to see if I have a card to get him back. But Triton, at the moment, is on the mend for two weeks. Zoe Stark gets us some cash. And then another fatal four-way. Can Rikishi 
pay off my gamble? Can he get the win as a giant and get me an extra 40k? Or does the Miz Shinsuke or the Girdster upset him? Here we go. Come on, Keesh. Oh, that was rude. Oh, my I was too. It, wow. Nakamura says, I got a giant heart. And everyone goes, wow, that's deep. And he wins the match. And we call out by Uncle Rico here. But this rivalry should culminate next week at SummerSlam, which, and then Cody Rhodes and Scripps fight in the title match for the main event. Cody Rhodes, Boom, he, does, he gets the jam. win. He finished the story. He did it. And, yeah, we get, he gets his uh, heavyweight championship after getting interfered upon last week as Scripps witched, but I guess you could say the Scripps have flipped. Wow. And then over to AI Raw, ladies and gentlemen, the weekly Nikita Lions tries to find a way to beat Oscar. Challenge continues. <laughs> and it <laughs> Jeez. Oh, man. I wish I could pull up the, oh, the roster because I, I genuinely don't think she's won yet. That's so that freaking funny. That is insane. Asuka wins yet again. It's like Goldberg's streak, but if Goldberg beat the same wrestler every week. If, some, if somebody out there can go through each video in our playlist and find oh my the God, record Oscar has and comment at that then uh you will be our favorite subscriber I'll, I'll pin that comment as well that comment will be pinned to this video forever i need to know Oscar's record against nikita lions in the same match over and over <laughs> damon uso comes out to the ring i don't know where the hell his brother jimmy's been but he's just self promo and he gets plus three there's no more tag team scene on raw teddy long's in shambles i guess Austin Theory, Paragon J. Pierce continuing their feud. Austin Theory gets the win, two and a half stars up to level three. Becky Lynch does a charity promo. She has yet to have a match since being acquired from WCW. Maybe she's missing the land of the Giants where the big boys play, but unfortunately for her, Bex is stuck cutting promos on Raw, 4,500 fans. And we got fatal four-way action for the United States Championship. New signings, Angel Garza and Otis both debuted last week. Now they're getting this opportunity. Josh Briggs has won half the tag champs, and now he's U.S. champion. He said, well, if I don't get at being tag feuds anymore, I'll just win this belt. Uh, double rivalries pop there. Briggs and Garza, L.A. Knight and Otis are the rivalries coming out of that. Julius Creed calls out the world champion, Finn Balor. I believe they're already level four, so nothing shifts there. And then in the main event, I was about to say women's tag team was on the line. They're not on the line. Women's tag team champions fighting Tiffany Stratton and Neo Sky. And the challengers get the win in the non-title match, setting that feud to level three. So to give our rundown here, uh, three and a half stars, Elton Prince takes down Duke Hudson, takes his uh, headband down from the rafters. Gunther takes down Sami Zayn, thanks to interference from Dijak. I was hoping that would get that rivalry level four, it didn't. Uh, but Dijak and Sami can finish the feud with pay-per-view. Uh, GM interference from Teddy, from me, helping out Dakota Kai beat Nikki Cross in a two-star match. And then two and a half stars, Shawn Michaels beat Snaith Frazier in a tables match, but he is injured for two weeks. On the call side of things, uh, Bianca Belair calls out Dakota Kai, getting that rivalry to level four. For SmackDown, Hulk Hogan trying to prove peace, trying to rebuild his image. He teams up with Apollo Crews and loses, though, uh, to Chad Gable and Joe Coffey. That also starts a rivalry, two and a half stars. GM interference from Xavier Woods helps Omos get the victory over Tyler Bate. Two and a half stars. Extreme rules. Tamina and Piper Niven starting a new rivalry in a one and a half star match. One by Tamina. And then in the I hold my hands this way match, Damian Priest, the world champion, <laughs> takes down the Intercontinental Champion Seth Rollins in a three star fair. Tag team call out puts the tag feud at level four going into SummerSlam. And then where the big boys play. Meat Mountain. The girthy. What was it? What's the girthy one? The girthy gladiators? That wasn't it. The girthy Goliath. Goliath. Sorry. I was too busy having my mind shook by how much Fighting the ring meat, itself though. was shaking. It's a lot. It's a lot to take in. I mean, Braun Strowman beat John the Fish, Herman Kane, and Red Monsoon in a one and a half star match. Uh, Fish Herman and Strowman up to level two. Then the Red Flame and Olaf Ostrowski get the rivalry to level three as Andre the Giant wins the second Fatal 4-Way. One and a half stars, Triton injured for two weeks. And then the lottery ticket, Rikishi comes up short against the Miz. Gunther McGurder 
and Shinsuke Nakamura. Shinsuke. Three stars. Rivalry with the Gerdster up to level two. Then the main event. Cody Rhodes, two and a half stars, takes down scripts for the U.S. title. Their rivalry up to level two. Tag call out, they're already level four, so they're vibing. And then Indy Hartwell uh, calls out Blair Davenport, setting up that rivalry for level four as well. And then finally, again for Raw, Asuka for the 73rd time beats Nikita Lions, three stars. Rivalry goes, rivalry level three is Austin Theory beats Jay Pierce, two and a half. Uh, two new rivalries start here as Josh Briggs becomes the new United States champion. Two and a half star match. Three stars in the main event. Uh, EO Sky and Tiffany Stratton beating Charlotte and Natalia. And Creed calls out Balor. They're already level four, so nothing shifted there. The final reports, ECW. 39,000 fans. $19,000. So not a good week for me financially. We spent on a couple Yay. matches there and uh, didn't quite generate that revenue there. Hulk Hogan and Apollo Crews work very well as a tag team, as we all expected. Mm. 39,000 fans, $70,000 for SmackDown. WCW, 33,000 fans in a hundred. $170,000. Dude, it, I mean, if Rikishi had won that, you would have earned over uh, 200K off that show. That is I insane. Wish. And then finally, AI Raw comes in. Ooh, okay, they used a power card. Um, that little WWE logo by the fan retention oh. rate. So I think they used, <coughs> excuse me, I believe they used Network Special. Uh, so they get 52,000 fans and $62,000. ECW, I complete the challenge Rising Stars. Uh, that was get like, you know, grow popularity combined of everybody. I get a veto champ card for that. Pre-match physio for WCW hey. as they do their commissioner goal this week. They also get a veto hey. champ for the same challenge I did for that Rising Stars challenge. All right. And these are the standings going into the pay-per-view. So Teddy Long up 31,000 on me. I am up 40. My brain just broke doing basic, basic math. 43,000 fans Three. on SmackDown. And then SmackDown is up 20,000 fans on WCW. Ooh. So SummerSlam will kick it off with the SmackDown oh, emails, God. and then we'll wrap up. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, my buddy, my best buddy, Theodore Long. Let's start with him. Hey, what was that thing you just pulled? You, you, you just a minute played it. Yeah. <laughs> Look at him. You would have done the same. You literally would have done the same. Oh, oh God. <laughs> I will. <laughs> you right. Oh. You right. <laughs> oh, shit. It's like, it's like me to Cody. Now he's, he's going to come after me. <laughs> And you could believe that, player. Okay. Well, I, I told you guys lost. Thanks for pairing us up. We look forward to the next tag, man. I appreciate that, brother. Us. Gonna win them. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, I don't think that's gonna happen, but that's fine. Did I do something to you today? I'm just wondering why you. <laughs> Wait, is that how he sounds? Yeah, literally. Look at him. Look at his mouth. That's literally how he sounds. Okay. Uh, oh, I forgot to put him in a match. Oh well. Oh. He's gonna lie straight to my face. Wow. Like, sometimes, sometimes you just gotta lie. Sometimes, as a GM, you just gotta lie. Uh, my contract will expire at the end of the week. Uh, yes. So I do get him for the pay per view, right? Yes. yes. Yeah. If okay. you do not Goodbye. extend him, you would have him this week. Oh. Goodbye. I have at least one submission match this week. Okay. Oh, wait, okay. I'm not even gonna look at the rest. That's it. That's it. <laughs> I was like, oh shit, it's summer slam. I'm, I'm cheating. <laughs> but no. They only get Ooh. SummerSlam if they like sharing subscribe. You know what I mean? Like they gotta. If they're this far in the video and they're not subscribed, like you gotta subscribe to set yourself up for SummerSlam because that's what's up next for us. And I guess Canada. I mean, you were pretty gassed up right there, so I'm gonna go to you right away. I don't want to make you wait. How excited are you to book your SummerSlam? Oh, I can't wait. SummerSlam is going to be absolutely phenomenal, and not just for SmackDown because I think the the the, the match of the night is going to the BP Boys, and that's what I'm excited for. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave it there. Although I, I got a good show plan, it's I'm I'm excited to do some match. Yeah, I'm pretty fired up. the The pay per views are always fun. As a reminder, if you're newer um, or just kind of getting used to things here, the way we do things is we uh, traditionally we spent each pick one match. Uh, to spectate at the pay-per-view on my side i'm not sure which match i'm gonna pick i've got a lot of rivalries that are gonna 
blow off. I think I have literally like four or five rivalries that'll end at the pay-per-view. So I'm excited for SummerSlam, but it's going to be interesting after the fact because I'm kind of resetting my show afterwards. Uh, but yeah, we put out a goal for you guys previous video and i said hey if we get to 600 subscribers before we record the pay-per-view we will spectate an extra match cheek will get a spectate an extra match in wcw that way he can get a guaranteed big beefy boy match because it's where the big boys play over on wcw and you guys not only got the 600 before we booked the pay-per-view you got the 600 before we even recorded the video before the pay-per-view which is nuts and you know super appreciative for that super thankful for that um again I, I i know we're kind of repeating it but it's super exciting to see it's really cool that people are vibing and because of that sheik i'll go to you now obviously we're gonna watch some big beefy boys but are we watching four eight are, are there gonna be 16 beefy bo like i mean the possibilities are endless right now at wcw the possibilities are endless and as a thank you to the fans for subscribing and blessing WCW with two spectated matches, I will promise both of them will be the fatal four-way for the big beefy boys. So I know a lot of those spectated matches are very special to us. We like to give you our best content possible with a championship match usually. But both of these are going to be for the big beefy boys, for the beef belts. Love it. We are climbing Meat Mountain, and the girthy gladiators, the girthy giants, are going to go at it. So that will be our two spectated matches. What I need you guys to do, as I said before, I have nine giants on my roster. Please comment out of the two four by fours what your combos will be. That way I can give that some consideration as to who everyone wants to see in their respective match. So please comment your match selections, and I will try my best to accommodate. That way you can have extra viewing pleasure. And also make a comment about, yes, I have a special beefy boy haiku that I will debut for <laughs> oh, our Meat Mountain Palooza at Summer Slamwich. So if anyone comments besides Cody, besides Canada, mm -hmm. about the haiku, if you've watched the video this far, I will give a little free Meat Mountain haiku. Well Even make one of your own. Make one of your own. We might pin it. And I'll say as well, too, is if, if you're in the comments and you see somebody else comment a combo that you like, Give their comment a like too. You know, sh share that support throughout the community that we're starting to build, and uh, you know, we'll take notice. You know, if, if someone, if we get, you know, who knows? We might have one or two people comment combos. We might have ten people comment combos. So if you like what someone else brought to the table for the beefy combo, give their comment a like as well. Yeah. Super size it. And one last reminder: we touched on it on the top. After this pay per view is our bragging rights special. So a lot is about to happen. We're gonna have a pay-per-view spectating in the next video. You're getting an extra spectated match. And then the video after that, we are gonna be taking our champions. We are gonna be hand-selecting competitors, competing in a series of matches, trying to earn points. And whoever earns the most points will get to steal a superstar or steal money from the brand that finishes last. We did it last year on the Ruthless Aggression GM mode. We're bringing it back every season. We will have a bragging rights special. So the next two videos, for those of you that like the spectating, you're going to get a lot of it. So dial in, subscribe if you haven't. And until Summer Slam, which I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Toodles.